What's going on guys, Sink Wavy back again with some more GBO2 and today we're going to be showcasing some Masala, the ultimate guide for Masala. Now, I want to tell um, a couple of people, you know, mainly the new players like this suit is going to be kind of a, a hard, really hard one for you guys out there. You guys are like lower ranks, are probably going to think this suit is pretty bad, <laughs> right? Because even the worst player can hit this suit. As you can see here, I'm demonstrating how you can bend the missiles and that. I, I think this thing is so cool, bro. Like, it's the first time you're actually using missiles that can actually bend also, so... Yeah, as you can see, you can do a little bit of corner peeking, right? It's just... You just have to be really precise with it. Here's a little, uh, little follow-up that I like to do. I like to... Uh, be a particle cannon in mobile suit mode, then transform and then hit them with a particle cannon. That's actually guaranteed as a guaranteed combo. It's kind of like Ashima. I don't know if you guys play Ashima, but Ashima can do a full charge or do two shots and then transform and then hit them, uh, hit the hit the guy with the burst shot, right? So this obviously can instant stun, so you can boom boom hit them twice, get some missiles in random you know do that stuff fly away and get get to safety like mobile armor mode is you're gonna kind of want to abuse this quite a bit let's put it that way you kind of want to abuse this quite a bit um here i'm trying to demonstrate that the uh transformable um the mobile armor uh shot to our pop can does not actually have an aoe it's only in this mode mobile suit mode so um that, that, that is crazy alone. If you can see, the AoE is actually huge. Like, it's actually huge. It's, it actually is practical to shoot the ground, right? If someone is peeking, if someone's trying to peek around a corner, you can literally shoot the ground right by the corner and it will hit them. I did it to um, a campfire and actually pretty much wrecked them. Did a lot of damage to them. As you can see, this is got a bit of a problem, right? It's so big, right? Back swings on a suit as tall as the GPO one is not gonna get hit. So lucky for you, us. Obviously, there's not many people that play these type of suits at 600 cost. Um, there are a few suits that are small. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Is obviously a little staple combo, the triple down swing. I say a triple downswing is kind of like a, a downswing, neutral downswing into another downswing. Um, and here's to clarify like the blast radius for the grenade launch is actually pretty big. Um, it's pretty much the same size as a regular bazooka. So yeah, keep that in mind. Abuse that. Also, that has a stun value of 40%. So you can com combine that with the missiles which is like 20% or your... Uh, your Vulcans here. Look at those missiles, bro. Suit, bro. I love that arc, bro. I had to show you that little clip right there, bro. It's so sick. But um, yeah, here's the builds I was using. This is my main, the main build I'm kind of using. Um, this is a uh, tanky build. You know, use that for learning the suit, basically, right? Uh, we're gonna dive into the first match, but also I want to say um. Yeah, um, you got learn your combos, right? Learn your combos, learn your stun values. Uh, like the the Vulcan, the Vulcans are like seven uh, seven percent stun value, so you can stun something in fifteen hits. Like you combine that with your missiles, which is twenty. The transforming um, missiles are seven percent. Uh, what was it? It was like. 15% on charge in mobile armor, which is the part the part of cannon, and full charge part of cannon in mobile armor is 70%. Mobile suit mode, a part of cannon is 80% full charge, and what was it? 40%? Yeah, 40% on charged. So yeah, you can you can kind of like if you've got someone like man using maneuver armor, then you know you know what weapons to kind of use to like break their maneuver armor. So I would use 
I would use the missiles um, or the Vulcans, basically. Uh, if you got full charge off, you know, you're gonna break their maneuver armor pretty quick. It's like an O or something like that. If it's like something with damage control, then you got a, you know, I would, if they got damage control, I would rather do the missiles than do the Vulcans, since they just got a higher stun value and they shoot pretty fast too. So, and it's kind of guided too, so you can kind of like, you know, aim them in the direction that they might, you know, they might curve around or something like that, you know. Basically, just go for the missiles, bro. This is, if they're just a better option than the, the Vulcans. Uh, when someone's coming at you, because obviously they got further range and all that too. So if you see someone boosting at you, you know, and you've got a full charge off, or even if you've got like just the grenade launcher out, you know, hit them with that, hit them with some missiles, boom, boom, and it's done. Right. So, like, what I'm saying, right, this suit is, it is top tier, right? But it's only top tier in peop uh, certain people's hands. I'm not gonna say like you gotta be at a certain skill gap, right, to actually make this suit do some decent work, right? As you can see, it's not hard. Like it's not really hard to hit this suit, man. Like it is really easy to hit this suit, like. It's not got no maneuver armor. If it had maneuver armor, it kind of probably would be broken. That's kind of what, like, in ways I feel like it should have maneuver armor, right? But at the same time, it'll be broken with the skills that it has. So maybe give it maneuver armor and take away explosive reactive armor and reduce the damage control to two. Maybe? I mean, even that, it, it like giving it maneuver armor would just make it insane, right? It would make it insane. Even reducing the damage control, you but ah, reduce the damage control. It's not abusing the mobile armor much, but it's basically it's basically gonna just be like it's trying to shoot down a Methus, and people already have problems trying to shoot down the Methus. So cu currently, like this is really hard to shoot down, right? But the mobile suit mode has the problem, right? I know what they're trying to do because in lore wise, it's mobile armor first and then like the mobile suit mode I guess second. So it technically, it should be doing more mobile armor stuff. But obviously, like I've heard a few people say like, you want to abuse the mobile armor but you got less weapons and it's not, the, the stun values are not as good as what you, what that the stun value are not as good as if you was in mobile suit mode so there's the problem there right so you know if they if they buff the mobile armor mode a little bit more maybe I, like keep it the same way and just buff the mobile armor mode to make it a little you know give it more thrusters or something to make it abuse that mode a little bit more I don't know but my my only problem with it is the size of it and you know I'm starting to get used to it like obviously I have decent position and so I'm not really falling into the same problem that everybody else is now, obviously at first I was I'm so I'm learning the suit but now that I'm understanding the suit and I know the I know pretty much the ins and outs of the suit I just need to practice the ins and outs, ins and outs right a little bit more so I'm just I master the suit I'm not quite master the suit but I'm nearly there so what I would do what I would do is this I'll probably give it mini bomb and take away the damage control. That would be my buff to it. Take away damage control and explosive reactive. Don't really need that stuff. Um, does those stuff help? Yeah, they do help. Um, at 600 costs, you know you got the Rigazi custom, a lot of accumulating. You know you've got the Zero Shiki, 
you know you got quite a lot of suits that have uh, accumulate and stun at 600 cuz um, 650 also so this suit does benefit from having damage control of suit, uh, 3 um, it's just the instant stuns that really hurt the suit that's what that's all it is it's the instant stuns and you know the size of the suit because of the you know the, because of the size of the suit the instant stuns are what hurts it the most right so yeah um it's all about like positioning yourself like at the moment they're not gonna buff it is literally all about positioning yourself correctly man right i have played it on arctic but i've done well on arctic base um you know the thing about me is i played the suit aggressive also because I want to see its limit, the limitations of the suit, right? I want to see how much I can get away with it. How much I can get away. Nice. So, that's why I play aggressive. So, I learn about the suit faster, you know? So, at the moment, you know, I, I, this is a match where I've, you know, I've played it quite a bit. And I've been aggressive. And I've been passive when I need to be. And this is yeah, obviously these times are the perfect time to be passive. I'm low. See opportunity here. Start playing aggressive. Boom. Go straight into melee. This thing's melee, especially with this build, is disgusting, bro. Like it actually is like above average, right? Uh, kind of messed up there. Didn't realize I was out of thrusters. What was I there? I didn't realize that. I knew I was out of thrusters, but I tried to catch him if he wanted to come back up, and yeah, it was a misplay. But um, yeah, so learn the ins and outs of suits, learn the ins and outs, learn your melee combos, and play it. You gotta kind of play it like passive aggressive, bro. Like you got. You gotta kind of play it passive, but then you gotta know. You really gotta know when to be aggressive. This is why I say it's not noob friendly, because noobs don't really know when to be aggressive and when not to be. Right? You gotta have some experience. And this Riggers, he they they are my tackle, but. I knew he was going to, he, he did do it, but he knew I was going to tackle, so he did it late kind of thing. Like, he thought, he thought I was going to, he thought I weren't going to tackle, you know what I'm saying, because I left it late. So a little bit of a mind game right there. He still used it and hit nothing, but... So yeah, I mean, yeah, this suit is honestly, there's something to learn, man. There is, like, I like, I love this suit because it was one of, it's, it was one of my favorites before, it's, it's my favorite suit from the anime. It's one of my favorite suits from the anime, it's Zeta, Kubli, Masala, like, from the Zeta, those three suits are like my favorite, like, suits, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like the Kubli, like it was like the first time I've seen funnels and it and stuff like that. I was just like, whoa, like, yo, what is this? Like, this is sick. Like, I just love that new type stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Masala, like, even even if it was worse than what it is, even if it was bad, I'll still love it. You know what I'm saying? Because Masala, yeah, and I'll. I would actually have to carry the suit with my play with my skill rather than the suit trying to like do work, you know. But I'd be fine with that. But in a way, it's already doing that, right? In a way, it's already really doing that. You need some player skill and pretty high level skill to actually make this thing work, like make it actually do really good, you know. Not just being being a unit that shoots from far, but actually being a unit 
that I pr put applies a lot of pressure on the enemy team because you know a lot of people that I've seen kind of playing a little bit too passive with it to be fair they're not being aggressive like they're not doing this type of stuff like you see that I transitioned hit that guy transitioned mobile suit uh, mobile arm mode and hit that guy you know you this is what you want to do you kind of want to put pressure on that like the suit has the tools to really put pressure on people man like it really has a, a decent kit like the stun values are really good like the instant stuns are, are decent you know like the damage overall is actually pretty high when when you actually uh, you know you get going you know that's the uh, the problem is getting going you know what if you get you know you're getting shut down a lot you obviously you're not going to do a lot of damage so po people are not seeing a lot of damage come from this suit because you're getting shut down a lot you know what I'm saying your top diversions like all the time you know what I'm saying like <laughs> So, and like you're gonna see, like every I think every match I'm like top diversion anyway. But like the difference is they can see me, but it's hard for them to hit me because of the way I'm positioning myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm positioning myself smarter than the average Joe. You know what I'm saying? And you see right there that you see that that's this is what I'm talking about. That that move is guaranteed. I ain't see no one do that. No one. I think. Maybe I see Gonzo do it, like, but I, I, I don't see anyone do that, you know what I'm saying? Gonzo, I can, like, Gonzo would do something like that because, you know, he's a decent player, he's knowledgeable about games, I've seen him play Ashima really well as well, so he knows how to play Ashima, so this suit is kind of got the same, like, combo uh, with the mobile armor mode and mobile suit mode going, you know what I'm saying? So made sense that I would see him do it but hey everyone else I don't see no one else do it like you know what I'm saying but even other Japanese players I, I've never seen them do that like they're not use, they're not abusing that combo you know what I'm saying that's like it's best range combo you know what I'm saying um so yeah just yeah practice 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 man get your positioning right and you'll be doing exactly what I'll be doing bro like it's easy once you get used to it. But yeah, check you guys in the next one. God bless.